Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the Johan Review. So today, I'm going to react to the episode 2 of Hello Boss Season 1. So, the title of this uh, episode is The Lulu Land. And I don't know exactly what it is though. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's been a while since I actually made a video again. So I'm just gonna react to this episode because like, I just wanna see the next episode for that so uh, I mean I already watched the episode 1 which is the murder family and this time it's the episode 2 so yeah uh, I mean this whole series is similar to has been hell okay I'm just saying like they are in the same universe but I don't know exactly if they are in the same timeline or maybe a different timeline I don't know because there's like so many things probably gonna be uh, uh, new to me for this series so I just hope that I enjoy this though <laughs> anyway um, I guess let's watch the episode man it's very hot in this place though I mean in this country in this month, it's already summer, so it's kind of hot. Oh. I remember he stole us, right? From... Yeah, the pilot in episode 1. I remember him now. I remember him. He has a family, man. Imagine all the things he said before in episode 1. So he's like having a affair. Is that what it? You must remember. No matter what happens to me, I will never be far away from my special little starfire. It always seems. Oh, there is singing in his one as well. Yeah, I I'm expecting this though. I really do. Thank goodness there's there's musical Constellations gone so soon. I used to think that I was bold. I used to think love would be fun. Now all my stories have been told except for As the stars start to align, I hope you take it as a sign that you will Oh man, his voice is so smoothing. It's so relaxing and calm, you know, it's very calming. It's like just chill, you know, you know? Are they are they in space or is just like just you know just like a regular dimension that he created on his own yeah okay i think it is i thought they are actually in a real space or something That was that was good though. <laughs> oh. That, I expected this gonna be happening though because especially he was he was sleeping with uh, Blitz. I'm not spending another moment looking at your pathetic imp sucking face. Good morning, Octavia. Did you sleep well, my Olet? A serious question. What's that you're listening to? This song is called My World is Burning Down Around Me. 
<laughs> well, we, we got a time skip so fast, you know, she she's all grown up. So it's like green before, I think. I don't know. You know what I haven't done in a long, long time? I haven't taken you to your favorite place in all of hell. Oh no, the Lululan. Oh, <laughs> no, nah, expecting that though. Oh, they have a happy picture, though. There we go. Anything but staying in this house. Now, I'll arrange our security. Security for a theme park? We're rich and we're hot. People want our money and our bodies. Our money, maybe. Speak for yourself, princess. Now, I'm calling the only man who can... Oh! Who can protect me? Oh, no, it's Blitz, yeah. Wait, Blitz is like an assassin, right? Their business is assassination. Isn't it like... I mean, I guess it can be used for bodyguarding. <laughs> Language! Oh... No, 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 Ooh, Lululand. So like Disney or just a regular carnival or something. I don't know. I mean, it sounds the same though. Now remember, this is work and work only. Me and my crew are not here to satisfy your perverted bird needs. <laughs> right. Okay, yeah, hold on right there, sweetie. If you try fucking my little ass in that part, I swear to you, I'll so kill you when you are serious. I'm literally gonna be sick. Oh, crumbs, I knew today would be a lot. What do you need? Antacid, ibuprofen, morphine? That was figurative, old man. Oh, right. <laughs> but she said it was literal. Wow, I haven't been to this place since I was a child. It has changed a bit. Wow, that is big, lovely. Oh, wait, did I saw the, uh, the whole stall? You know, of like the angel exterminator. I mean, the I mean, not exactly the angel, but the uh, the figures. I'm Lulu. Welcome to Lulu Land. If y'all get hurt here, just try and sue us. Look, Dia, it's Lulu. I have a question. Well, ask away, little girly. Park is just a really shameless spin off of Lucifer's far more popular Lulu world. Wait, did she mention Lucifer? Popular Lulu world. <laughs> Why don't we go check out the rides? That chick's creepy, huh? Yeah, wait till her dad tries to fiddle your hole. <laughs> me. Don't talk to me. I know you're a pervert under there. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. You really like this place, huh? I love this place. My parents would bring me and my siblings here when they could swing it. Money wise. Yeah. The prices do seem rather criminal. I mean that much for a novelty cup that you use one time? Cause it's Lululand! Listen to your home. <laughs> Listen to your home, man. Oh, we gotta do my favorite ride! Oh yeah? Which, which one? Oh, I think. <laughs> Ooh. Man, he is so... He's so dedicated, huh? Freaking brought a sniper rifle. You know, it's quite thrilling to see you on the job, Blitzy. Save it, bitch, I'm working. You both need to get a room. Hey, I am not a day hooker. 
What? I just said I'm not one, Prude. <gasps> oh, look, dear. You used to cry such tears of joy at this show. Oh, no. It's a clown. Oh, Blitz. Oh, Blitz was. So Blitz worked here before, huh? know the name of that is it's like plushy you know like a plushy no like a bear i mean teddy bear or something like similar to that a toy so many names for that though you don't even know what the thing called oh what a oh my goodness he's ripping you off <laughs> <laughs> oh man, they've been going at it. Holy, holy freaking shit. He's not gonna stop, easy. Oh, he stopped now. <laughs> oh, oh man, they they uh, they be, they destroying the whole place. What the frick? So he can do that all the. I mean, this is freaking hell, I guess. <laughs> uh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's busy, though. <laughs> uh, destroying the whole place, though, the Lolo land. Hopefully, there's another branch, though. <laughs> because this place is wrecked. Oh no! That was a real talk, man. That poor kid is mistreated, abused. Um, I think I'm supposed to be bodyguarded right now. Oh, that's better. Uh, where is Blitzy? He's my knight in shining armor, not you littler ones. He's a. Uh, being a fool. 
What kind of fool? The everything is now on fire kind. Octavia. I take it you are not having fun. I didn't even want to come here. I'm sorry, sweetie. I thought you loved it here. I mean, she's a teenager, you know. I don't think some people actually wanted to go on carnival style, but I. Weird red dickhead the entire time. I'm sorry, Thea. I'm sorry for everything happening right now. I know it's a lot. I, I should have listened. I just want to go home. But home doesn't even feel like home anymore. You ruined it. You need to understand. Your mother and I. I just. I felt she's always been. I hadn't been. Ha we weren't in. I guess the words doesn't come out. Yeah. Are you gonna run off with him and leave me behind? Ah. Uh. Way where I can't find you. What? No. 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 Never. I guess it's hard, man. It's hard for the. The young ladies. You were right. I guess far too old for it anyway. Oh Medusa? Run into stone? I guess it makes sense that she's uh, like very sad for the because her family is like a little bit broken now because you know parents are arguing each other and stuff like that. At least they like made up, you know. Way to ruin another good thing. <laughs> Worth it. That toy clown had it coming. <laughs> oh. Oh man. Okay, so this episode actually got gonna give you a lot of emotion as well, you know. Uh, especially the uh, the girl, okay, the the daughter of Stolos, which is I think sh I mean I did search that Stolos is actually like a royal because before uh, I was assuming that he was like one of those overlords, but turns out he was actually a royalty. So yeah, so basically she's like. A princess in here so it does make sense now and also uh, I guess she's having a hard time especially because of her parents arguing with each other you know so it's kind of makes sense that she uh, she's sad and like changes I mean it's part of the puberty of course so that's kind of that's kind of uh, part of it yeah and also, uh, I don't know what exactly the backstory of how those two end up together, you know, because I feel like they were having a good time, like when she was a child. So it's kind of make me wonder what exactly happened before, why, why those two are arguing now, you know. So I guess it always has been now or maybe there's going to be a story for that. But hopefully, hopefully okay that the girl might actually feel better and might understand someday that is like how it goes you know but between parents of course like they having uh, a broken marriage like sometimes i mean uh it's not like some people might have a permanent family but sometimes they have a broken family but this one is like this just sticking out together because they're a royalty you know i i don't know if Either Stolas is doing this for uh, publicity and doesn't want to divorce divorce someone like his wife or something, but I guess there's no point about that because you know, like king and queen. I I mean Stolas is a prince, right? So it's not like he's a king because king is Lucifer. So yeah. And anyway, this episode is actually uh um. <laughs> I expect, I mean, 
kind of expect like other things like going into the uh, human world you know uh, in the previous episode we kind of see that how they did go to the human world which is I don't know like I mean they use a book I'm just saying like is this, is that even allowed like is there, isn't there like a l- rules for that like a law you know does heaven even doesn't even bother uh stopping those uh bleed so in other you know i guess they don't really care about much human they only care about winners who died and goes to heaven and stuff because humans can be uh neither you know they can be either uh in heaven or in hell yeah. so hot but anyway this episode has got me so many uh uh idea and things like uh, they're like uh foreshadowing many uh terms like there's another like a lulu world that was made by lucifer or something she was uh octavia yeah octavia mentioned that earlier like the lulu land is just a rip off of lucifer's lulu world so i don't know if there's actually like a real uh theme park or like a, the actual fun place because considering like uh lucifer is like a genie you know he can do something any everything like you know he can summon things like that so i mean not like a foreshadowing more like a cameo words you know i would be surprised if there actually are a characters in this series of from the husband hotel as well you know If I saw the others from this series, man, I would be so fascinating to see that. But I don't know if there's gonna be like a crossover stuff because, I mean, they look like in the same world, okay? But it just doesn't fit the timeline. I don't know. So I, I kind of doesn't understand that. So maybe in a few episodes, I might actually understood what exactly uh, the other things in this series as well. I mean, it's, a, it's about the... Uh, the business of course the assassination stuff and going to the human world killing stuff for revenge and yeah and also the uh the character background of each of these protagonists you know so yeah but still this lululand huh <laughs> it's kind of funny to see that they actually have one in here uh, i mean the I don't know which side of the pentagram is this, you know. I just want to ask that, which pentagram is this? I mean, when I saw the whole place, the whole area, the whole country, the whole hell, hell itself is a whole pentagram. So I don't know which pentagram they are, because they're like a multiple one. There are the, like the area of cannibals, the area of I don't know which one. It's just there. There's just ton of tons of them, though. Know? So yeah, and I guess we didn't, I was expecting to see the other characters very like Luna and are there other, uh, others as well? I, I guess I already saw them already, you know, uh, man Blitz like one of badass character here though. I, I actually like his character. He's like one of those uh, sassy boss, you know, he knows exactly what what to do is like professional <laughs> except the end of course the end of the episode he likes he almost got his ass whooped by the uh, robo fisaroli or something uh man he works from that place before you know so i don't know if he uh <laughs> if he uh, was actually a joker or a funny one but i don't know it doesn't fit to be a joker anyway but the whole series is funny enough you know so yeah if you like this episode like and subscribe bye bye